and welcome. I'm David Bell and I'm joined in our virtual studio at Step Tribe here with Simon Smallbone, the founder and CEO of Step Tribe, and Alex Basson from the Change Organization. Good morning to you both and welcome. Hi Dave. Good morning, David. Morning, Hi, Simon. Guys, we're going to have some great conversations over the next uh, five or six minutes. We're going to learn a little bit more about both businesses. We're going to learn a little bit more about Step Tribe and also the Change Foundation and how sport is important, how the links to charity are really important, and why getting up off the couch, getting fitter by taking steps and exercise is so important for our well being, our fitness, and our mindset as well. Um, so Simon, um, founder of Step Tribe and something very close to my heart personally as well, um, really helping us to change the world uh, together one step at a time, as the, uh, the phrase states. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the journey to date. Tell us a little bit more about Step Tribe and what it is that you're trying to achieve. Well, thanks, sir, Dave. Um, I don't think many people will realise, but the average person in the UK currently is only walking nine minutes per day. And this inactivity is causing you know, us all sorts of health, uh, health problems. Um, and you know, we need to get people active. And the simple way to do that, because you don't need any equipment, is to get on your feet and go out for, uh, for a walk. And there is a surprisingly large number of benefits of going out for a walk, even if it's just for 15 minutes. Um, better uh, get your blood pumping, get some fresh air, get away from your uh, screen. There are so many health benefits to walking. So Step Tribe, we want to use technology, which is one of the things that is stopping us from being active, to get people active again. And Step Tribe is an app where you can create a challenge, a walking challenge from point A anywhere in the world to point B anywhere else in, in the world. And that calculates your, your route, it's a route map. Your point might be in London, the other one might be in Paris, and it creates a, a route map to, to walk. And then you can, with your friends and uh, family, create a tribe. And when you go out for a walk, your device will keep track of how many steps uh, you take. And that will plot your route across the, the challenge that you've created. And <clears throat> that gets you, your friends and family, active. And that's one of the key things that uh, activity research tells us, that people will be much more active when they're part of a tribe. When, not when you're just going out by yourself, but when you're part of a group, that you will do a lot more activity by doing that. And the third thing, which is why I'm so happy to be here with Alex from the Change Foundation, is that um, people will be more active if not only are they doing something good for themselves, they can do something good for others. So Step Tribe within the app will allow people to be sponsored for these challenges. So just like people get sponsored to run the London Marathon and other crazy, uh, crazy things, they can get their friends and family to sponsor them for their in-app challenge through a step drive. And we know that will get them more active and they'll be able to contribute and do great things for charities like the Change Foundation. Yeah, no, brilliant, Simon, absolutely. Um, out of interest, the average person is walking something like two or 3,000 steps a day. Um, and, and, and this is, driver, isn't it? And this is, I think for most people, incredible. You know, many of us have you know, smart watches, we have the, the phone and everything, and people today are familiar with this 10,000 steps. It's like a mythical number. It's come from a, a Japanese uh, a pedometer maker back in the 1960s. There is nothing uh, particularly important about these 10,000 uh, steps, but people are only doing two, three, 4,000. And everyone that I speak to about this I ask them just to test themselves for three or four days, don't do anything special, do what you normally do. And they all come back and go, no, wow, I didn't realize I was doing only 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 steps. So the good thing about 10,000 is that for most people, this is already a stretch goal and we'll get them out a little bit more and then they'll do five, six, 7,000 uh, steps. So what we're telling people and what Step Tribe is all about is really to encourage people to get out and do some walking um, and Step Tribe is that motivator to do that. And they're motivated to do that through having the challenge, being part of a tribe, and in, in time, being able to contribute to do something good for uh, others. Uh, no. Now, Alex, uh, you are the head of business at the Change Foundation, um, and you've been in that role for about 15 years. So you've probably seen lots of changes with technology over the years, how it is being adapted into our daily lives. But tell us a little bit more about the Change Foundation and your role there in about you know, kind of bringing, um, you know, everything from charity and sports together and working with the likes of, you know, Simon and other organisations as well. 
Absolutely. Thank you, David. So, yes, uh, my name is Alex Basson. I'm the head of business, business development for the Change Foundation. Uh, this year, the Change Foundation is 40 years young. And for the last four years, we have been using sport to create a transformational change in young people's lives. Uh, we recognise that, you know, we're not trying to create the next sporting hero. Um, there's a tool here. There's a, there's a common ground between us who can deliver a sport, young people who like the sport. And over a long period of time, we can create that change, whether that's uh, improving some self-confidence, being part of a team, uh, engaging um, around other aspects of their lives or even using it to create a next step in their lives, such as work, education uh, or further training. Uh, we currently run uh, 14 programmes across London. We work across the UK uh, and globally as well. But uh, my role over the years has gone from bring, being a coach now heading up business development, which plays a vital role in our events and challenges. And recently with COVID, we've had to really look at the landscape of these. How do we change them? Um, we're not in a room as much anymore doing gala dinners. So we had to look outside. We had to look into the outdoors. And uh, one of the things we've done recently was a big steps challenge, encouraging people to uh, walk 12,000 steps a day, every day for a month. And something like Step Tribe, absolutely changes that because not only you know like the world of sport where you want to encourage each other to work in teams you want to set goals you want to reach the targets you want to achieve something the likes of step tribe helps us do that it brings people together in a community through uh through a challenge that we now had to and overcome it keeps connected. it encourages people to to do more together um and then hopefully achieve that goal as a tribe as a community uh, at the end everything that we stand for as an organization is about setting yourselves a target a goal whether it's through sport or in your life and how can we work together with our expertise and skills to get there yeah no absolutely and i i understand that you know using technology i'm a great lover of technology in the right places at the right times but using technology uh using uh sport and exercise um is a great way of obviously working in the community as well and it's combining all those things to get one good outcome and that is to get us fitter get us healthier get us connected as a community and supporting and working together and that's what sport really does do that really does help us to work and breathe and live together as a as that community a absolutely you know um whether it's like you know yourself if you're a youngster and your parents are fortunate enough to take you to a sports club where you meet most of your friends build relationships learn right learn from wrong um we're doing the same as well and i think one of the beautiful things about sport is that it doesn't matter what size you are what height you are what shape you are where you're from it unites people it brings people together and the beautiful thing about it as well is it not only you know helps physically but also mentally especially with us coming out of the pandemic as well and simon touched upon it earlier about just doing something whether you start with 2000 and work your way and build yourself up around steps it will be a massive change not just physically but but with your mental health as well which as we've known coming out of the back of this pandemic has been had a huge effect on on everybody yeah absolutely and thank you for that alex and you know the mental health and the well-being it's the it's not just the body physically is it is the mind uh keeping that active and keeping that uh moving as well um so this is where you know the likes of step tribe uh working with yourself is a is a such a great partnership and such a great opportunity um simon back over to you really for a few final words the app is in early stage development it's gone through um you know some of the the design process and we're seeing that app hopefully coming later this year or um tell us a little bit more about that when do you hope we we'll, we'll see that uh, in the app stores to download well i think the, the the good news is that yeah the app is under development um, and we're expecting it to be in the app stores before christmas so why is that really good is because well we all know what we do at Christmas and we all know what we do in January. We come away with some uh, wanting to create some good habits for 2022, already 2022. So um, the app will be there for those wanting to start their new formed um, physical activity habits for the new year. And, you know, gyms, as an example, have had a really hard time over the coronavirus uh, period. And they for sure have a place to, to, to play in this physical activity uh, um problem and, and agenda but also for a lot of people it's not about necessarily going to the 
to the gym. It's, and as Alex said, also your mental well-being. It's getting outside, it's taking those steps and just starting to be physically active. And Step Tribe is really uh, an app, uh, let's call it a, a tool, that I hope will help those that um, are not so interested in the gym but want to become more physically active will be really a tool to, to, to spark the life into to those people to become physically active. Because to go from those 2,000 steps to 3,000 or, or, or beyond, to work with their friends and family, to raise money for great causes like the Change Foundation will be a real motivator. And uh, that's why Step Tribe will be there to help those people in, uh, in January. Mm. yeah there we go so that is step drive coming to an app store near you very very soon um you can find out more leading up uh, to the all-important launch hopefully uh, just before christmas you can download it get familiar with it and set your tribe up and get active come uh, the new year that's for 2022 um, go to steptribe.io for more information follow us on all the social media channels as well so you're alerted and you know when that is hitting the app store and you're able to download it and remember it's not just for those sports enthusiasts those people were, uh, you know, trying to you know, really build. It's, it can be done in a fun, in genetic way with your family, your friends, and they don't even have to be in the same household. They could be anywhere in the world. You can build your tribe wherever you are. Um, I'm looking really forward to downloading it and getting active. I hope you guys are as well uh, watching and viewing this from home. Uh, until our next uh, video with uh, Simon, uh, thank you to Alex as well. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye.